We are not your traditional church. You will not find that here. I will fight until tr tradition dies and until religion dies in this building. Let's get down to where we live. How do we offer God defiled sacrifices? Vamos a ir a este punto. ¿Cómo le ofrecemos al Señor nuestros sacrificios? We come to church late. Venimos tarde a la iglesia. We sit and we watch others serve. Nos sentamos y observamos a otros servir. We criticize authority. Criticamos la autoridad. We give offering and tithe grudgingly. Damos limosna. Sometimes we don't give at all. Muchas veces no la damos ni siquiera todo. We think about eating and the things that we have to do while preaching is going on. Mientras está predicando estamos pensando en lo que vamos a comer y lo que vamos a hacer después. We attend only regular services and we get frustrated when there's extra services. Solo atendemos algunos servicios y nos molestamos cuando hay servicios fuera de lo regular. We don't come to church on Wednesday because we have to wake up early Thursday morning for work. No nos gusta venir el miércoles al servicio porque tenemos que levantarnos temprano el jueves. Oh, that happens here too? Oh my God. And you don't think that the power of God can give you strength to get up. Y piensas que el poder de Dios no te puede dar fuerza para levantarte. God will have no pity. I'll say it again. God will have no pity. Dios no va a darle palmaditas a nadie. Because in Mexico, they walk three hours just to get to a church service. Porque en México la gente camina tres horas para llegar a la iglesia. And many of them have to walk three hours back and get up at three in the morning. Y muchos tienen que volver otra vez tres horas para levantarse a las tres de la mañana. God will judge you. Dios te juzgará. You stay home when the weather is bad. Te quedas en la casa cuando el clima está feo. When the weather is good, you stay home so you can enjoy it. Cuando está bueno el clima, te quedas en la casa para disfrutarlo. The TV and computer la... use up more of your time than the Word of God. La televisión y la computadora absorben más tu tiempo que la Biblia. Some of us are scrounging and trying to keep this from God and that. And this over here as if he did not know or couldn't see. He's asked you to give him even that. But you can't believe. You can't believe that there's anything beyond what's tangible to you. listening y te andas escondiendo aquí esto y acá lo otro y tienes esto por acá como que si Dios no lo puede ver y ya te lo ha pedido ya lo ha requerido de ti he's required it of you lo ha requerido de ti porque tú no puedes no te atreves a creer que hay algo más allá de aquello que tú puedas ver y tocar I have come to tell you that you need to wake up He venido a decirte que tienes que despertar. Because God is getting everything in order. Porque Dios está trayendo orden a todo. God will manifest His glory. Dios manifestará su gloria. We are about to enter into a dimension where all we've got left is God, and it's going to be more than enough. All we've got is God, and it's going to be more than enough. And I think what the Spirit is saying we place so many other things before him and we lay aside the God who created you and I 
we forget where we came from and we forget what he has done and the whole reason that you're here today because some of you I know this you would not be alive today if it was not for him the Lord Jesus Christ I know I would not be alive today if it was not for him every bit that you hold on to hear the word of the Lord every bit that you hold on to that I've required of you to give and to let go is what's keeping every bit of what I am from you todo aquello, oye la palabra del Señor y todo aquello que tú decides y sigues reteniéndote y guardándote para ti todo eso que ocupa ese espacio es lo que está previniendo que lo que yo soy pueda ser en ti the pastor brother Mike has to beg you to be on time church for God he waits for you here and out of disrespect you come when you want to you pray when you want to you think that you can have a marriage relationship with Jesus only on Wednesday or Sunday You don't read the word, the love letter that God has written to you. The only time that you speak to him is when you want something or when you're in this house. Worship the Lord right now. The Holy Ghost is moving here. Worship the Lord. Stop trying to reason. Get your brain out of the way. Stop trying to reason this out. That's been your problem. You're thinking too much. And it's killing your faith. Alaba al Señor. Ya deja de pensar tanto. Ya deja de contemplar tanto y pensarlo tanto. Tu mentalidad, tu pensar es lo que está matando tu fe. Every bit that you hold back from me, saith the Lord, is keeping me from you. It's limiting my ability in your life. Everything that you withhold, that you think you have to hold on to, is simply pushing me out. Todo aquello que tú retienes, todo aquello que te estás guardando, todo aquello que tú escondes y almacenas pensando que tienes algo extra, eso es lo que este me está previniendo a mí de estar en tu vida como quiero estar. Eso es lo que me previene de bendecirte. Your lips praise me, but your heart is far from me, the word of God says. You tell others that you know me, that you're a Christian, but I really know who you are says the Lord because I see you when no one else sees you I hear the words that come out of your mouth I even know the thoughts that you think this is a relationship people and relationships have to be cultivated they have to be number one treated with respect because I think in being married if I constantly disrespected my husband we probably would not be married or we would have a terrible relationship 